extremely unusual. The ozone hole over Antarctica could be smallest in 30 years. Sputnik News reports today's article. In spite of climate change, environmental news is not all that bad. In a positive twist, the ozone hole above Antarctica this year could be one of the smallest recorded in the last 30 years. This is according to the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA for short. They say the severe depletion of stratospheric ozone in late winter and early spring in the Antarctic is known as the ozone hole. The ozone hole first appeared over Antarctica because atmospheric and chemical conditions unique to this region increase the effectiveness of ozone destruction by reactive halogen gases. The ozone hole above Antarctica is referred to refers to the reductions in ozone concentrations in the Earth's atmosphere, the stratosphere, the second closest layer of the atmosphere to the planet. Normally, when sunlight returns to the polar region after the Antarctic winter, chemicals formed in the vortex during the polar night initiate rapid destruction of ozone, the Copernicus Atmosphere Monitoring Services, CAM, said. It's a weather service implemented by the European Center for Medium Range Weather Forecasts. In a September 9 release, CAMS found that the ozone hole above Antarctica could have the smallest area of any Antarctic ozone hole since the mid 1980s. Quote, this year, cold air with low ozone levels has mixed, has been mixing with warmer, more ozone rich air from outside the vortex, which is likely diluting and deactivating a fragment fraction of the ozone depleted chemicals inside the vortex. The result is less potential for fast ozone destruction with the springtime sun arrives over Antarctica and according to the press release the Antarctic ozone hole begins taking form in August and reaches its maximum size in October. The hole typically closes in December. However this month the cold air conditions that usually cause ozone destruction have instead been replaced by warmer temperatures. Quote, we see a lot of variability in the ozone hole from year to year. For example, in 2017 it was quite small, then in 2018 it was deeper and longer lived. However, this year's activity is extremely unusual. The last time something so abnormal was seen was in 2002 when the ozone hole actually broke into two very distinct parts. CAMS senior scientist Anja Innes explained in the press release. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.